Greetings to you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and today for a short meditation we will take 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 For God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind So here in this verse we see about the spirit of fear The Bible clearly says that God has not given us the spirit of fear Fear is a spirit Okay, here the Bible clearly says that So many people they are affected by this spirit of fear. They worry about their health. They worry about their children. They worry about their finances. They worry about their future. They worry about the weather. They worry about their work. They worry about their ministry. They worry about everything. Whenever they open their mouth, they will speak fear, fear, fear. These people are affected by the spirit of fear. But the Bible clearly says, God has not given us the spirit of fear. Okay, so why this fear comes? Because you don't believe in God's word. See, these people who always worry. Worrying is a clear-cut sign that you have the spirit of fear. Because Bible clearly says, God's word says that, Do not fear for I am with you. So Jesus says, He is with me. I should not fear. Then why are you to fear? Sometimes the situation, the things going on around me, it will make me to fear because the devil is waiting. When I will disobey God's word, then I am giving him the legal right to come into my life and to rule over my life. So he will be waiting when I will be afraid. See, so dear friends, the Bible clearly says that God has not given us the spirit of fear. So the Whatever the problem you may face in your life, whatever the situation may be, but believe in God's word. Believe in God's word. Don't give place to the spirit of fear because in Job, Job says that, see, Job had fear. I feared all these things that like this will happen, like this will happen, like this will happen. And these things came into my life. The Bible clearly says Job feared these things. So, Job, he allowed that spear, the spirit of fear into him and the spirit of fear made things worse in his life. So, my dear friend, are you allowing the spirit of fear to rule over your life? No, please don't allow the spirit of fear. So, when you are afraid, it means that you don't have faith in God. Because people who have faith in God will not fear, will not worry. Sometimes that worry will come, fear will come, but it will end very soon because we will overcome the fear with the word of God. We will overcome that worry with the word of God. If you don't have the word of God, if you don't have this weapon to fight against the spirit of fear, then you are going to be a victim for the spirit of fear. So my dear friend, Whatever the situation you, you are coming through, I don't know. But pray to God. God, fill me with your word. Fill me with your Holy Spirit so that I can fight against that spirit of fear. I know the spirit of fear is trying to control, is trying to take control of my life to destroy my life. No, I'm not going to give way to the spirit of fear because the Bible clearly says God has given a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. Read this verse, meditate this verse and overcome fear with the power of the Holy Spirit which is in the word of God. God bless you.